Fire Emblem characters than Mario characters. This is a Nintendo game. People love them gotcha games. The Fire Emblem Heroes is a big hit. I'm stunned now. Them gotcha. What is a gotcha game? What are you even talking about? Chat, please find this man. He doesn't know what a gotcha game is. <laughs> every every ah, time I commentate with you, I just get a bunch of angry emails. <laughs> I'm serious, dude. Like, I, you have lived. Okay. How have you lived such a holy life not knowing what a gotcha game is? You've been blessed. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> T3 Dome versus YMCA. Uh, he actually didn't change his tag. If you follow T3 Dome on Twitter. I said this day would never happen. Or somebody would joke about his tag. And then I didn't correct it. <laughs> I, I bet somebody. Uh, yeah, I was. I was thinking that I'm sure people do this all the time while they have it. Okay, so they're checking for headphones. Um, T3 Dome talked about changing his tag on Twitter and having secondaries in mains. So, anyways. <laughs> Uh, T3 Dome talked about having like a secondary hero. He's been using Mega Man. He actually uses Mega Man a couple times. With Dragon. Young man. Uh, he's used Mega Man. He's used Wicker. He's used Hero. So he has quite a couple of characters he has in his build. He has like a Snake and a Palutena. Yeah, he's warming up the Richter here, but yeah, he it's it's definitely his main. And honestly, being a Richter main in general, it's it's a tough life, but it's a matchup that not a lot of people know how to play against because. It's one of those characters that's not really represented as much. You know, I've only seen the tweets from T3 Dome about this character, but I like to imagine that I'm uh, I've, I'm understanting the whole story and I'm I can visualize what's happening here because he's talked a lot about this character and how he thinks he's not that good he's and how he wants to pick up a different character. And I'm just imagining him going to the beach and just staring out for hours and like just he has his whip in his hand and then. And then at one point he just throws it in the ocean. Anyways, that's so far off. Um, well, the thing about Ricker too is, like, in my opinion, he's a mid tier, but he struggles in the recovery department. Like, that's the biggest problem is because his tether recovery is slightly one of the better recovery options for him. Um, he can definitely be called out for going for a tether recovery, and his recovery is very much left to be desired. At the same time, though, if you look at his ground game and his projectile game, right, and his zoning game, it's definitely one of almost second to none compared to a character like Samus, right? So you kind of have to understand that even though Richter has one of the best zoning games in the, in the game, right, especially against a lot of the characters, he does struggle to recover. Can you imagine the world we lived in, right, where Richter would have a much better recovery, right? It would be really difficult dealing with a zoner like Richter. I'm going to confirm right off the holy water. That's usually one of the teeth films, like... I'm not popping Alpha because it's one, that's one of the T3 Dome's like, bread and butters. Yeah, T3 Dome's got a lot of really... I mean, he's developed this character a lot. Mm -hmm. I've, I've seen him do a lot of really cool things with this character. Uh, this just seems like a really hard... I mean, I feel like I say that a lot, but it seems like a really hard matchup for Richter. Just because that aerial drift makes it so that Wario doesn't really have to like commit to going in on Richter. He can just kind of pressure him and threaten him from the air. Mm -hmm. um, and at the same time, like once Wario has the fart, the are you gonna correct me on that? Hell are you yeah, seriously man, gonna yeah. do this? You realize there's like hundreds of people. In You've embarrassed me so much right now, Vance. Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> this character uh, can just kill you at like what, like 30 or 40? Yeah. Just landing a confirm. Like a player who's really gonna get in, like. Um, so, if you guys remember watching a couple of MSMs ago, right, where we had um, Kamehame versus. Um, why am I forgetting? Kamehame, we had Kamehame versus. Uh, man, I haven't seen him in a minute, too. From Europe. The other Wario me. I'm, I'm really upset that I'm forgetting. You're talking about Gluttony? Yeah, there you go. We had Kamehame versus Gluttony. The one big Kamehame kind of did over Gluttony that he had over him was he knows at like what percents. Waff's knockback would be enough to kill you from a combo, right? Versus like let me going for the hard, you know, Waff reads. Yeah, he went. Yeah, so 
that's some, something the people, I, I think not everybody knows, is that the waft, it does, the hitbox is active on the fart, but also uh, when Wario launches himself in the air, that's mm -hmm. a hitbox with that too. Yeah. It's also like one of like, if, if it's your last ditch effort as a recovery, you can use waft to recover as well. Yeah. Uh, that was a really hard thing with the smash. Trying to read T3 Dome's landing here, but at this point, that was really good for him to go for with punishes, because T3 Dome spaces himself with back air at a 45 degree angle, and if YMCA wants to pick that battle, he may end up losing it because, like I said, he spaces not only spaces himself, but he has a hitbox. Oh, good spot dodge, and what a quick and reversal from YMCA. Still the, this game is still going right now. I, I, it looked like T3 Dome was going to close it out, mm -hmm. just the way things were going, but... Uh, yeah. The only thing here is that YMCA does not have uh, a rumble in, in, his, in, his, in his tumbly. That was so hard to work in, man. I, I'll give you credit, but it was so hard to L look. So at that, so if there's that so many creative ways to talk about what Wario can do, I'm it, just really disappointed by commentators. If we were in the UK, and by extension, yeah. myself. That's fine. So my MCA, he went for the waft there early. If he would have been had him at the ledge, he would have definitely gotten the kill there. But unfortunately, he went for the hard bike to come back on the stage. Dude, that was some son Ar Sons of Anarchy st he did. stuff right there. I mean, I never watched the show, but th basically, like, from the trailers, I Wait, just what, imagine what? that they just ride around motorcycles and hit each other with chains. <laughs> like, you're, probably, you're probably talking about Ghost Rider. Um, <laughs> is it? No, Sons of Anarchy is a show about a biker gang. Yes, but Ghost Rider has a chain and he rides a bike. Okay, so you go to comic books, which tells me a lot about you that I actually I already know. Fair enough. <laughs> um, Whether I go to a real gang that a show was made out of. You go to You're living in a fantasy <laughs> land, Vance. That makes a lot of money worth billions of dollars in 2019. <laughs> Anyways. So do Baker King. <laughs> <laughs> Subjectively speaking, but the uh, thing about T3 here <laughs> is... For him, he's talking about how one of the struggles of Ricky Wright, the weight that he's at for a while to get those combos, he, it was pretty much close games between him and YMCA, right? Like, he, the one you have to really understand that because Ricker's like, you know, fall speed and his weight and his recovery options, he does get juggled and he's forced to go for ledge plays. And having Taylor being, like I said, the main option to recover can be really frustrating, especially when your opponent reads it. Yeah, definitely. But what you do get in reward of dedicating your time to Ricker is a matchup that now many people are versed in, and also some of the best projectile game the game the character has to offer. To yeah, I don't think people give enough credit to how you know mentally taxing it can be to play against a player like you know who who uses Richter or or any character with a lot of zoning and a lot of projectiles mm -hmm. because you're. All, uh, you, you're always thinking about like all these hitboxes that he's gonna throw out and how far they're, you know, what, what's he gonna do? Everything that's in your face, and it can just get very frustrating if you're getting hit over and over again. Correct, but um, also you have to really understand like even though Mike Lichter does have the spacing and right, the projectiles of damage in general, that was really good of use of cross because he forces the high jump recovery and he gets caught by like the the serious hitbox on it, right? He takes that damage. That's one thing that T3 Dome is really good at covering, right? Like that. The, he covers the low to force our opponent to go high, and then he covers up. It's, it's really, really good. The only, the other thing too that T3 Dome is really well aware of too is like once your opponent gets in on the Belmonts, very much oh, so like their, him. yeah, very much so like their video game. Like the Belmonts can't handle a up close, close up, com close quarters combat basically. So you kind of have to really respect your opponent when he's really close in your face. Yes. And that's what, yeah, that's uh, the uh, broader point I was going to make is that you just have to realize that, you know, maybe you start out the game and you're getting hit a lot. Um, you know, that's just kind of how the matchup is. Like, no, you're, okay. you're not going to get, you know, in your face, all in, a, in your opponent's face all the time. It's about making those openings count, though. Mm -hmm. Speaking of making the openings count, though, that was really good ads because even if YMC was going to avoid it, he has to go for that ledge. He has to grab the ledge, basically. That's for, thus forcing him to go pick an option, especially with Cross being a threat, and then T3 Dome kind of call them off to going for an area. So that's one thing that T3 Dome is really good for, is forcing his opponent to pick the options in which they would fall into for Ricker to definitely benefit, such as that, that throw with the Cross. Yeah, it would have been a really con cool conversion there if it came through. Yeah, nice. Calls out an aerial with a 45 degree angle back there. 
No head chase. Oh my god. He ate the cross. <laughs> yeah, Wario. War oh, okay. Yeah, I, I heard why I'm saying scream now because he knew like once he got hit by that option, oh, he's yeah, pretty he much going to come into getting red like so. Uh. Um, the one thing Wario does get if he does eat projectiles and 